All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well a uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, October 12th to uh, October 11th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys uh, has an interest in has an interest into a, a personal reading with me, uh, or you just want to take uh, one of my tarot classes, all about that you're going to find in the description down below. So with that being said, let's move to the uh, spread of the week. Let me uh, lay down the cards first and then see what you got. Right. So the, uh, the upper half of this spread is going to show um, your love and relationship week and the bottom half of the spread is going to describe your career. So let's uh, turn the cards out. We do have the lovers as the first one followed by the tower card moving next that is to be the Prince of Wands and the last one uh, we do have the Knight of uh, Wands which is the King of Wands by the way within uh, the traditional tower deck. And this is very interesting, to say the least. So you have a choice to make, my friends, and it's going to be a very, very big one. Uh, moving next, uh, that is to be your uh, career. The first one is the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups in the traditional deck, followed by uh, the Five of Pentacles. After that is the Two of Wands, and the last one, uh, that is to be Temperance. So let's uh, decipher first the love, uh, the love reading. Oh my, I bet you got excited seeing the lovers there. Now, uh, you need to understand that lovers is a very tricky card and by far is not the unproblematic love that many people are trying to make it. Lovers does describe the clashing between two perfectly matching opposites okay so it does refer to individual person or an interaction that the other side is what you are not so that is a subject with different interests that is a subject with different goals different character um, uh, different how can i say everything is different about them okay and the lovers is the test, you know, can you make those differences to make you special for one another? Or you are just going to simply say, you know, those differences are the bridges that we cannot cross. And the fact that we do have the tower here into the second position well, with these two, that's definitely a crush that you are to experience. In fact, a crush that you are probably going to hate yourself experiencing it. No different than the mean girl having a crush on the, uh, on the guy in the school that everybody is mocking on. Okay, And, you know, the mean girl hates herself having a crush over. Everybody mocks her for it, but she can't help it. Okay, for the, the boy is nothing she is, but still she feels attracted. And that's the beauty of the lover's card, that whatever you are to feel throughout the week, it simply doesn't going to make any sense. And that's the definition for the true love. It doesn't make any sense. It just is, okay? It just, it just exists. And that is the choice that you, are, that you will have to make. Are you going to go with it? Or you are going to let it slip? So, um, moving to the uh, last cards of your uh, of your love um, love life that describes the individual that you may be already knowing. Okay, that doesn't exclude to be as well your current partner that you are finding all the differences you have, and maybe you're questioning yourself why I would be with this man, all right, or why I would be with this woman. What 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 really makes me stick around? And only you, my friends, can answer that, okay? But the thing is that with the Prince of Wands here into this position, that describes the person that, to, that you are either yet to meet or that you are either with right now. And um, all, what, all that the card says is that this person is willing to try, okay? And they have all of the best intentions. And I do believe that they're just waiting for you to decide what you want to make up uh, 
what you want to make up in your mind for all that the enterprise you are about to have or that you are having right now. And even if you have made it your mind right now uh, and you are determined to, to give it a go, to give it a try, you know, to find the middle ground in between you two, maybe you're not giving the impression to, to, to this individual that you have did. Uh, and that's why they are in a, in a standby mode, if I, may, uh, if I may express myself that way. Another thing that you need to know about the Prince of Wands or the Page of Wands in the traditional deck it is that they don't need that. In a sense of that for them, uh, if you give them a hard time, they're going to pretty much, you know, leave the situation behind. For They do not need to be with someone. It, it, it's, it's great if they are connected with somebody. But if they don't, but if they aren't, it's not the end of the world. They can be single for the rest of their life for all they care. Okay, if the um, if the if the relationships that they are to forge doesn't present any interest to them, and right now this this all is interesting to them, and it should be interesting to you. For what what happens here, it is that you are to discover a new world. Okay, do you want it or not? Or well, like said, my friends, that is up to you to decide. Now with the tower into the second position here, that is the uh, denial of, of subjugation. Uh, and it is uh, it describes like that, that while you are to experience a new world, you should not give up on your world as well. And while the two worlds are completely different, they need to kind of like find a middle ground and they can find a middle ground. And only by you giving it a chance, only by you trying it out, uh, trying it out will prove what the middle ground is going to be. Regardless of that, by the end of the week, regardless of what you choose, because with the lover's card, there is no right or wrong decision. It's all about a personal preference. It's all about which path you are going to go with, the path that you want to go with or the path that you have to go with. You can't have both. OK, and regardless which one you are going to choose here with the Knights of Wands at the end, you are going to have a optimistic view for the future. Uh, and it's kind of like your, uh, what was the word here? Um, positive attitude will grow increasingly high. And the more you are within the within this enterprise that forms for you here, the more you are to see that whatever ambition you have for yourself in terms of love is starting to manifest itself. So that was in terms of your love life. Now let's have a look in terms of your career. Well, in terms of your career, you are going to start feeling like you are losing a grip. OK, that is described, if you wonder, with the five of pentacles here, having it into that position. And uh, you are going to start feeling that way because someone expected say predicaments, really trifles, but yet uh, present, are going to start appearing. Uh, in fact, everything you try to attend will have something wrong with it. It may not be a big thing, but still there is going to be something wrong with it. And that will uh, kind of make you question your position in a sense of that you may start feeling uh, afraid for the job you're doing, for the place that you're occupying, you know, or for the business that you are currently pushing forward. Nothing to be afraid of though because with the Knights of uh, Cups here into the first position this week is going to be just as successful as you make it to be that being said with looking at these two cards together it means that yeah I mean you are going to have plights predicaments you name them trifles problems but all of them can be resolved should you maintain your professionalism and should you maintain your uh, how can I say, uh, probably the word that I should use here is tenacity, meaning you do not give up from the initial goal that you have set in front of yourself. Now, in fact, with having the two of ones into the third position of this uh, particular alignment here, the card points that you are actually sitting on a very good achievement or, a, or on an establishment on a good achievement. Probably you have a very good reputation, a name, uh, uh, recent accomplishments and etc., etc., and now, through those plights, predicaments, and trifles, you can excel, not excel, but expand, okay? You can expand on those accomplishments, recognition, or, uh, uh, you know, achievements that you, are, uh, that you are sitting on. What is important here throughout this week for you in terms of career is to remember your goal. And although you may find yourself in a dark tunnel, 
that you have to push through. If you do remember that goal, that goal is going to illuminate for your path moving forward. And it's going to give you strength. And by the end of the week here, as we do have the art, or that is the temperance, in some decks it's called the alchemy, okay? Um, that points that you are going to find solution. It's, it's just all that the card is uh, the, the card is pointing to. One more thing about the temperance, though, it is that you need to know that those plights and those predicaments are not going to uh, how can I say involve you or touch only singularly on you, but also other people are going to uh, to be involved. Everybody is going to have their own guess for it. And that being said, not just. Not all the time your suggestions uh, and your, how can I say, your, um, I don't know the word, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, let's say your suggestion and, you, and your plan is going to be most effective. And for that reason, by the end of the week, you should face, you know, the people that you're working with and in generally uh, everything that it is thrown at you in terms of career with a huge portion of solidarity, compassion, and as well ability to hear what you have been told. I mean, you don't have to execute it, but at least hear and respect it for from some of those uh, cons consultations, let's say, although all of them are with their entirety may not be something you can apply, you can extract a vital piece of, uh, of an information. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. Be careful with your, uh, with your love enterprise here. It's, it's really a big deal. And hopefully you will kind of like make the most accurate decision for yourself. So uh, with that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. And until then, bye.